Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video on a new, I don't know how new it is, um, product I found. I did give it a try, but I had like mixed feelings on it because I was using it in like a short time period. Um, like I couldn't sit there and really work with it to see if I actually liked it. So this product is the Diamond Sponge by Real Techniques. It looks like this. It looks like a diamond. I'm going to show you the clean side. It looks like a diamond. Like I said, I did use it once and it did get pretty stained. I did try to wash this and it is pretty stained. Um, so yeah, I want to try it again on camera just to see, um, how it works again. It is very pointed at the end and it's very flat on the back side. And uh, around the edges, it's like a diamond, like cuts. So it's a little bumpy. But I want to give this guy a try with my foundation. So we're going to see how that works out. I do have to get ready today, so I thought this would be a good start to me getting ready. So yeah, if you guys want to see how this guy works and if it's worth purchasing, then just okay, keep watching. So here we go. It is damp because I like to keep mine damp. I'm going to try to use just like an edge. See how this works. So here we go. All right, it's just very uh, awkward. It's so flimsy at the end. It is the same material as the regular Real Technique sponge, so it's gonna spread product as a regular Real Technique sponge would. Um, but this is not. I don't know. It's just so flimsy at the end. You have to hold it like a certain way. I get it for like the inner corners and tight places, but it's just not practical as like a whole sponge. And actually it might even be soaking up more product than the regular sponge. And I'm not liking it. I'm not liking how it's applying to my face at all. I really don't. It's just like, I don't know. It's just so hard to work with. It's like the end is too small, but the bottom is too big to put anywhere else. If you know what I'm saying? It's not like an egg shape. If you know what I mean? Like parts of it are a little bit bigger and then parts are a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to stop right there because I actually have to do my makeup decent today. And I'm going to say that this guy is a big no-no for me. It soaks up so much product, as you can see. It does feel to me like the same consistency as the other one. However, this guy is soaking up so much more product and I am not liking it at all. This is a big no-no for me. Um, I'm going to stick with my regular Real Technique sponge because I love that. I love that better than the actual Beauty Blender. So, yeah. This is a big no-no. I don't like this at all. I found this at Ulta. Um, however, though, by any means, give this a shot. This was $10, um, for this sponge. So, it's even more expensive than the regular one, which is $6.99. So, I mean... Ultimately is up to you, but in my book, this is a big no, no, which is really disappointing because I thought that there would be like another kind of sponge out there that would work for some people, but yeah, so there are my thoughts on the Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. I do not approve of this sponge. I think it is not worth $10. It's, I wouldn't even spend $2 on it. 
knowing how it works. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got some good information out of me from the diamond sponge. And if you actually liked it, tell me what you did if it worked better for you than for me. Or if you just have any comments on the diamond sponge in general, in general just leave the comments down below. Um, I'm going to finish my face with the regular Real Technique sponge now. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified from when I post a video, which is Monday through Friday at the end of every day. So like five, six o'clock at night, if you hit that notification bar, I'll be uploading then. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.